Hello everybody and welcome. In this tutorial I will talk about event listeners and we will check what are event listener and how can we create one simple example. So let's check first the definition. You can check the Symfony documentation. I put the link here and uh, by definition we have uh, there this one. Symfony has various events and hooks that can be used to trigger custom behavior in your application. So basically it's one way to execute your own code during the execution of certain parts of the application without needing to rewrite any part of the main application code. So let's check how can we use this by creating this simple example here and uh, we can start by changing the service.yml and uh, we have here this our bundle and the resource folder we need to change the config folder service and uh, then I can put this code here and uh, let's check Okay, and uh, in this service, in the, in the services area, I need to put this one here. So, let's check again. I need to change this here and here. And now, everything is fine. So, let's check uh, what we need to specify here. So, we need to specify our event listener class and uh, it's here, this class here, we are going to create later in this tutorial and then we need to specify the service here and then we can specify the service name and the class that is going to be used the arguments, the argument we can pass uh, services to the constructor and uh, you can check uh, the services in in this project here, maybe by searching in the whole project for this string and you can find more strings like this, you can find the service in the Symfony documentation also we can call some function and pass services as a parameter in this case I'm going to call one function in the class called setContainer and I'm going to pass the container and the tags we can define the event that we are going to use. In this case, we are going to use the pre-content view to inject one variable uh, in the Twig template code. And uh, then we can use this on pre-content view. There are more events that, that you can use, like the on-kernel request. And uh, there are more uh, easy publish 5 events. And you can check the Symfony documentation for Symfony events and you can check the Easy Publish 5 documentation to find uh, Easy Publish 5 events. Uh, I will put the link, you will find the links in the in this page here. So let's create our pre-content view.php class. Um, so we need to put inside this folder here, I need to create a new folder called uh, event listener uh, the same that I have uh, specified here and I'm going to create this PHP class there so let's create this here and uh, basically that is it now we have created our class and I need just to put this code here Let's format this, Alt Shift F, and uh, also fix the, the classes here. Um, I press the Ctrl Shift I, I believe uh, I'm going to use this one. And, uh, yeah, I believe uh, it's okay now. And. Uh, also, I need to fix these codes here. And the namespace that uh, I'm going to use, uh, 
I don't know if NetBeans has one way to fix the namespace uh, are red for us, but uh, anyway, I'm going to use this namespace here. So, check. Uh, if I remember correctly, we need to put the namespace here. Uh, let me check some existing class. Yeah, there's it. So now we can check uh, if everything is okay. We need first to clear the cache. Oh, sorry. I'm going to clear the cache the hard way just to make sure it will work. And uh, finally, we need to to check this variable here. So we are basically uh, create a new variable and passing and adding this to the twig. So we can use this variable in our page layout.twig.html. So let's go to here and page layout. And uh, I'll basically just use a dump here and check if this variable exists here. So now we can go to our project site and uh, refresh and check if it's working. So yeah, it's basically working. I can change this um, to another string here, example, and uh, try to execute again and uh, it has been changed. Just keep in mind that it's a really basic example, and uh, but you can do anything that you want, like you can fetch object and make them a variable in the page layout. And uh, uh, I'm using one example. Uh, let me go to the presentation here. So you can find some links here. You can find the documentation and um, you can find more event listeners that you can use in ZPublish 5. Uh, you can find here in my base bundle that I'm using the on kernel request event to set the locale. At the moment, this is one way to do this. So you can use the on kernel event. Uh, you can check the share.easy.no. There is one guy there that is using the on kernel request event uh, and passing the repository there to get the user and check if it's the anonymous user and do, do some redirects. And uh, there are more documentation that you can check, parameters, injection in content views, you can check easy publish events, you can check how to create your own events and uh, how to listen to core events here. So basically that is it. You will you'll be able to do anything you want um, and uh, you are free to, to come with new solutions and uh, basically that is it I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next tutorial, bye bye